With that, it's now time to inject, induct the first of two legends into the George Dragos Luthez Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame. And of course, qualification is determined based on a substantial impact on professional wrestling, general impact and respect within the profession, and a strong amateur wrestling or athletic background. Owen Hart ticks all the boxes. An accomplished wrestler at both Ernest Manning High and the University of Calgary, Owen made his unforgettable name in the professional ranks. Trained in the legendary dungeon, he gained early fame in Stampede Wrestling, was named Pro Wrestling Illustrated's Rookie of the Year in 1987. He parlayed that success into several international tours and success, notably for New Japan Pro Wrestling, where he was crowned the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion in 1988. And following that success, Owen returned to the then WWF, where his rocket really took off. His rivalry with brother Brett over the WWF world title will live forever, culminating inside the steel cage at SummerSlam in 1994. He was crowned King of the Ring in the same year and European Champion in 1997. It was also in 1997 where he won the Intercontinental Championship twice. On top of that, he held the Tag Team Championship four times with Yokozuna, Davy Boy Smith, and Jeff Jarrett. And sadly, in 1999, he was taken from us. He was no doubt a champion in the ring, but by all accounts, he was a bigger champion at home. He was a devoted husband and father, loved and admired by his peers. He was a world-class performer around the globe and equally remembered for his sense of humor. There perhaps has never been a better prankster than the King of Hearts. With this inclusion, Owen becomes the third member of the famed Hart family to, own, to enter this hall, joining his brother Brett and his father Stu. At this time, would you please join me in welcoming the Hart family as they accept 2018 induction into the George Stragos Luthan Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame on behalf of the gone but never ever forgotten Owen Hart. I'd just like to uh, say that we're humbled and uh, grateful. Owen, I know Owen, Owen, somewhere up above, is uh, <coughs> smiling, and my dad is uh, as well. It's a tremendous honor, especially uh, Dan Gable, Luthez, George Tragos. Uh, you know, I couldn't name anyone uh, higher than that in the history of the wrestling business. So. I know honor, Owen will be tremendously honored and um, he loved this business and uh, was passionate about it and proud, of, proud to be a, a member of the wrestling fraternity and uh, I'd like to just on behalf of our family thank each and every one of you guys and the whole wrestling universe out there for all the support and uh, it means a lot to us. Thank you and God bless. I'll try not to be too long, but I'd really like to thank Kyle Klingman and the Board of Directors for nominating Owen for this very prestigious award. Um, I think Owen was selected on a number of criteria. Um, you know, we, he entertained a lot of us uh, with his performances in the ring. He was, a, he was a great worker. He could be a high flyer. He could be a mad wrestler. Uh, he, he was probably the best technical wrestler in the family. Um, he, wrestled in so many different territories and, and he could adapt uh, to, to the German style or, or New Japan. Um, he could also wrestle Lucha Libre and uh, he, he excelled in, in, in Stampede where, where he had some pretty tough footsteps to follow with, with uh, his older brothers in the family and um, it wasn't a path that he orig originally wanted to go on. You know, he, he was aspiring maybe to be a uh, high school teacher and, and uh, go as far with his amateur career, but uh, once once he started wrestling, he, he never looked back. I think he he and, and the rest of our family realized how much potential he had, um, and th that he would have great matches. And he, he was 
inspired and influenced by so many people. Uh, as the youngest of the family, he he learned a lot from from all of his older brothers, but uh, in, in particular my dad. He, he would he would hang around the dungeon and, and watch my dad go to work and and, and do a lot of submission wrestling and. Uh, and, and making guys fear for their lives, and Owen was, uh, you know, he, he soaked that in, he absorbed that, and, uh, you know, he, he never hesitated to, to be put in holes himself, and, you know, he, he had that background, he, you know, it was, it was just a natural for him to become a wrestler, but he, you know, he had a, a great high school career and qualified for the Canadian Nationals uh, with the University of Calgary after he got a scholarship, and, uh, um, you know, he, I think, could have gone in so many different directions, chosen a lot of different career paths, but, uh, uh, you know, he, he entered professional wrestling, I think, just with, uh, with an open mind. Let's just, let's see how it goes and see how he, uh, follows the footsteps of Bruce and Brett and Keith, who are already proven successful wrestlers on our circuit, and, uh, you know, he just had something different. He, he learned something from them, something from my dad. I think he was inspired in a lot of ways uh, as a kid watching Billy Robinson or George Gordienko or Luther Lindsay in the ring and with, with some of the demonstrations and seminars they put on. And, uh, you know, he, he incorporated all of those influences himself and, and uh, offered something pretty unique. You know, he was, he was a great mat wrestler, he was a great high flyer, he was a great technical wrestler. And, and um, you know, he, he had a very celebrated career. Um, and, you know, he was just uh, a tremendous person who was devoted uh, to the business. He always took time to sign autographs and, and take pictures uh, with, with fans. And, and you know, he, he understood that without the fans, uh, there would be no wrestling industry. And, uh, uh, you know, we, we want to really celebrate uh, what he accomplished in the ring, what a, what a, a great family man he was, and uh, how, how much he made the dressing room a better place for all the wrestlers and those associated with it rather than uh, just the unfortunate circumstances behind his death. But uh, we're very honored that, that Owen has, has received this uh, prestigious award and uh, we, we'd really like to thank the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame for this, this tremendous honor. I would just like to say on behalf of uh, my mom and dad, uh, they would be so proud of Owen being inducted into the George Tregas Luthes Hall of Fame. And I know that my brother Owen and our friend Owen would be so honored. I uh, thank you all, thank you. There's, if every every heart spoke, we'd be here all night. So I'm just gonna say, it's it's really good that Owen is finally given back to the people, the wrestling fans who've loved him uh, ever since he left us. So uh, uh, it's, I'm glad that he's uh, found a place in this wrestling hall of fame. I think it's the most appropriate place for him to be uh, appreciated. Thank you. Uh, you know, speaking on behalf of the uh, next generation coming up, it's a tremendous honor to induct my uh, Uncle Owen Hart into the Hall of Fame here. Uh, so far what I've seen, the uh, Hall of Fame here I think is, is the best in the country. And I'm really, really glad that we can recognize Owen's skills, not only as a professional wrestler, but also his uh, amateur attributes as well. Owen was a tremendous athlete, um, whether he was a heel or a baby face, he was so versatile in the ring. Like Ross had mentioned, um, he could work Japanese style, Lucha Libre style, he had the basics, and uh, just what an athlete he was. And um, I'm sure that uh, Stu would be really proud to see him and uh, being inducted into the Hall of Fame this year. And thank you everybody for coming today. This has been a really, really uh, great honor and a great experience, and I hope I'll be here next year again. Thank you everybody.